Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to work on our stairs in our first floor which goes up to the level 1. Now before we work on our stairs I want to show you a few commands here. If we go look at the properties in 3D view we have this option for section box. This is the one of the best command in Revit that you can find. I'm going to click on it, click on apply and now you can see we have this a box around our building. Now what this does basically, it basically changed the visibility of your element or your house. Now anything comes inside this will be visible in 3D view and if something goes outside this box will not be visible. Now we have some controls to control this box. So let's do that. I'm actually going to select this control and I click and drag to the left. And as you can see that we actually able to see inside our house now so this is a really cool command that you can change your visibility of your object now i'm gonna work on stairs around here so we will just change this visibility as well and i'm going to basically remove the roof as well so let's grab the top toggle and bring it down all right so now we're gonna work on our stairs around here now to create stairs we need to cut the area from our top level slab as well because when people are going to walk up they're not going to get to the level 1 without the area is removed. So let's go to level 2 first and here we are going to cut the area far. Now let's select this shaft tool. So this is a shaft opening command which basically lets you cut the area. Let's select that and it's going to bring us in our in a sketch mode. Now, the easiest way, I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to start the rectangle from here. And this is the area I want to cut from my wall. Now, let's make sure that we snap this properly to the wall. And I'm going to click on this tick mark button. Now, let's look at it in 3D. Now, in 3D, as you can see, our area has been cut. Now, we can work on our stairs. Now, let's go to level 1 that's where we want to put our stairs here now we have two kinds of stairs in Revit stairs by component stair by sketch I have a separate video for a stair by sketch so now let's work with stair by components I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna give me a few options it's gonna bring us back to sketch mode and here in the components we have different kinds of stairs such as straight stairs circular stairs center and spiral and L shape and U shape. Now for this kind of drawing we probably be okay to use L kind of shape. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to bring my cursor down and as you can see we can use our L shape uh, now. L shape stairs now. Now I'm going to put the stairs somewhere here. I'm going to drop them here exactly here. Now we're going to make sure that we got this properly aligned to the wall as well. And then I'm going to click here. And now in the in the stairs command, you see we have few toggles here. We can adjust the height and width of the stairs as well. Now I want the stairs to go and align to this wall. So for that, I'm going to look at the level 2. And inside the level 2, I'm going to drag this where and bring it and align that to our you know the cutting of the wall now we've done the layers now let's look at them in 3d but first we need to finish the edit mode by clicking on this tick mark button now it's saying that the slope of the railing may not be parallel with the stairs let's ignore that message for now let's look at our stairs in 3d and let's see if they have been they are done or not now they look nicer, they're cool. The arrow was basically on need we need our stairs to a little bit move from the wall. Now let's do that. I'm gonna go to level one and select this and I'm going to move these layers. Well we can select the stairs and railing separately. So for that we're gonna go to level two actually and then we are able to select the stairs and click on edit stairs and now I'm gonna select the stairs and I'm going to move them a little bit away from the wall somewhere here and that would be better now 
then click on this tick mark button and now there's no errors now let's go to 3d view and let's look at our stairs yep our stair looks all right now one thing we want to do here we want to add a railing here because the people can drop to the ground floor which is not a good idea so to do that i'm going to go to level two i'm going to stack the stair railings as you can see i'm just stacking the railing for that i'm going to click on edit path now we can we are back to sketch mode i'm going to select this line and I'm going to select the railing from this point and I'm going to draw a railing all the way here. I'm going to press escape and click on this tick mark button. Now we're going to select this railing, click on edit path again, and then I'm going to click on this line and then draw a railing just a little bit here as well. Let's click on tick mark button. Now let's look at our stairs in 3D. Now as you can see, they look all right and we can see that we have the railing done and the railing going this way as well so no one can just fall from the level one to the ground level all right so let's remove the uh, section box we go to the properties just cancel out and let's look at our stairs in from the window as you can see it looks nicer isn't it now there's one problem here the shaft command basically went all the way to the roof as well so if I move my cursor and take it here, you can see that I have this shaft opening. I'm going to click on it. I have these toggles. I'm going to click on this toggle and let's just bring it down just closer to where our slab dance. And that's pretty much it is. Now our roof is back and now we got a nice, nice looking stairs done inside our house. And we got the railing done as well. Mm -hmm.